Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to our final video of our week special using Texture Paste. So the video that's released with this one today is how to make a mould using um, epoxy mould making equipment. So when you've seen that, you know how we make a mould. Now the mould that I've made is of a button and it's a simple button and then what you can do is use your mould with texture paste. Now this is one I made earlier and I've taken it straight out of the mould so it would need a trim but it would go with any of your mixed media projects, your mixed media backgrounds, things like that. You would be able to trim that and ink it around the edges and it would look like um, a wood bone, a, a wood bone, a wood button and it would just look so cool on some of your projects. So we've made the mould using the epoxy pack and this is the mould that we've just made and it's just waiting to set. I don't think it's quite ready yet. Um, oh it is so for anybody that watched the mould making kit I can now remove the button and I've got the perfect mould left ready and that's the button that we used so the mould that we're going to use is this one I've zoomed in a little bit for this because we're going to add texture paste to it and even though it's quite simple I just want you to see the process so I'm using the brown texture paste again because as I say I think the buttons are going to look great in the brown and they're going to look like wood so what you simply do is take your spatula and your texture paste and add it into your mould Press it down because even though you probably won't get air bubbles, you want the whole mould filled. Now I know this looks like milk chocolate, but trust me, it isn't. <laughs> but it does look like that. Now once you think you've got it all pressed down, scrape the top away, flush with the mould, either way like so. If you don't think you've got it flush, keep going until you think till it is, until you're happy with it, like that. Scrape what you don't use back into your pot, like that. And then just go back in and clean up the sides of your mould a little bit. You can wipe it with a kitchen towel and then you need to leave it to dry. Now the thing is because you're using texture paste it isn't like using air dry clay, uh, clay or any other clay it's texture paste and it's being created for mixed media it's not really being created for using with moulds and you know taking it to the next step. So leaving it to dry is a little bit like how long's a piece of string because it's quite thick in the middle uh, where the button is. Just cleaning my tools. Um, so what I tended to do was I left mine overnight. A bit like when we did the embossing folders. 24 hours because it just, it seems like it needs that long. Now the one we've made earlier this one that's ready to be trimmed and inked and you can see the detail through the centre of it from the mould looks fabulous it really does it's picked up everything so that just needs trimming and we can do that either with scissors or a craft knife and we're going to, I'm just going to put this one to one side because it's not going to be dry while we're watching. 
so that would be like watching paint dry so what we can do is we can take our scissors around the edge to trim this up and then ink the very edge I haven't got any ink with me to be able to do it but we could ink the edge to make it a little bit darker and maybe add a little bit of highlight through the centre and it would just look so stunning so that's a great way of making your own embellishments for your projects for mixed media and so we've got one drying and then that's the mould that we used Oops, there we go and I just hope that gives you a good idea of another way of using texture paste I do hope you've enjoyed watching all week we've covered some very well some amazing different things and I'm gonna just film a quick recap for anybody who doesn't want to watch all the videos and they just want the recap so that might be just a quickie for somebody to share to get somebody else interested I do hope you've enjoyed watching I hope you've enjoyed the mini series I hope you've enjoyed a, a look at using texture paste in so many different ways and I'm sure there's hundreds that I haven't thought of that would be equally as interesting um, you never know you might come up with your own way of how to use it so feel free to comment on YouTube or um, on YouTube sorry that I can't reply on YouTube but I can on Facebook or on my blog so reach out contact me message me I'm I love hearing from you and I love hearing your ideas and I'd just like to say thank you for watching all week and putting up with me and I shall see you next time.